Canada's political landscape is at a critical juncture, as Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's minority government squares off against a no-confidence motion. Initiated by the Conservative Party led by Pierre Poilievre, this motion is set to challenge Trudeau's administration, which has been grappling with waning popularity. The decisive vote is slated for September 25th, following a rigorous debate in the House of Commons. Poilievre's push for a snap election comes on the heels of the new Democratic Party, NDP, terminating its coalition with the Liberals. Heightening Trudeau's vulnerability, Poilievre's agenda, branded as a common sense plan, aims to eliminate the carbon tax, address the housing shortfall, balance the budget, and curb escalating crime rates. He attributes Canada's rising cost of living and national debt to Trudeau's nearly nine-year reign. During a recent interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Trudeau acknowledged the financial struggles faced by Canadians, from soaring grocery prices to unaffordable rent and fuel costs. He recognized the public's clamor for change but reiterated his resolve to keep advocating for their needs. Despite the tumult, Trudeau remains committed to his leadership role. The looming no-confidence motion is anticipated to fail, primarily because two smaller parties have pledged their support to the Liberal government. However, Poilievre is undeterred, with plans to pursue another no-confidence vote in early October. The political dynamics remain fluid, and Trudeau's government must navigate this precarious period with caution. Trudeau, who first ascended to power in 2015, has twice bested conservative leaders in the 2019 and 2021 elections. His former alliance with the NDP was intended to secure his administration until late 2025, but the premature dissolution of this pact reflects dwindling public backing. The shifting alliances in Parliament underscore the fragility of Trudeau's current standing. Recent polling by Angus Reid underscores the stark disparity in public support. The Conservatives hold 43%, the Liberals 21%, and the NDP 19%. In Canada's parliamentary system, the governing party must retain the confidence of the House of Commons, comprising 153 Liberal seats, 119 Conservative seats, 33 Bloc Québécois, and 25 NDP seats. This statistical landscape paints a vivid picture of Trudeau's challenges. Political analysts suggest a general election may be postponed until at least spring 2025, despite present tensions. The evolving political scenario in Canada is bound to test the resilience and strategy of Trudeau's administration. As the no-confidence vote looms, the nation watches closely, aware that the outcomes could reshape the country's future direction.